Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to get free network monitoring with Zabbix. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as you can see, this is the official website of Zabbix. So before we move ahead, let's talk about what Zabbix is and what it actually do. Zabbix is an open source monitoring tool, including different ID components that includes servers, networks, virtual machines, and cloud services. And at the same time, Zabbix provides you the monitoring metrics such as network utilization, CPU loads, how much resources your networks are using, and not only that, it allows you to have different graphs for each output. You can have different dashboards on it so that you can monitor your networks, your servers and different other things. So let's see how we can monitor our networks, our servers with the help of Zabbix. In this video, I'll be using Ubuntu server and I'll show you that how you can monitor that one. Cause with the help of server, you can have different networks into your system. In terms of downloading and installing your Zabbix onto your Windows operating system or any other operating system, come to the official website of Zabbix and go to Downloads. From here, you have different options. Well, as I have mentioned earlier, you can download and install your Zabbix directly onto your Windows operating system. You can do that into the Hyper-V, into your Linux distributions, or even you can install it into your VirtualBox or VMware. So I'm going to install it or if I say that I have already installed it into my VMware, it wouldn't be wrong. So for that purpose, go with this option that says Zabbix Appliances. Just click on it and from here scroll down. Here if you see here it says installation cd slash dvd iso. This particular iso file contains the mysql by default. And here we have a file that is VMware. Basically, this is a file that is already installed one. You just have to include it into your VMware and you are ready to use it. Down here you have OVF which means Open Virtualization Format and you have many other file formats that you can download. Here you have an option for your Microsoft Hyper-V for your Windows operating system. So in my case I'm going to download it for VMware so I'll just click on this option. Basically I have already downloaded it so I'll just cancel this out and now I'll open my VMware. So this is my VMware and here in order to start or you can say in order to use my Zabbix that I have just downloaded, I'll just click on this open a virtual machine option. From there, I'll go to the directory where I have my downloaded file. Here it is. So I just need to double click on it and I'm good to go. I have already included it here. You can see now it's time to just start it. We do not need to configure it. We do not need to install it or we do not need to do anything in order to install it into our VMware. So I'll just select this one and I'll click on start. Let's wait for it and then we'll move ahead. Here we are into our Zabbix. And now to log in into your Zabbix, the username is root by default and the password is Zabbix, Z-A-B-B-I-X and hit enter. And as you can see, we are into our Zabbix. Now, in order to access its web interface from your web browser, you need to have its IP address. So I'll write here IP A W D R hit enter here i have my ip address as 192.168.111.144 i'll just use this ip address to access its web interface so i'll just write here 192.168.111.144 into my browser and i'll just hit enter it will show you a page like this now here in terms of the username the username is admin with capital a and the password is Zabbix again and hit enter. It will allow you to log in into your Zabbix. Now we are ready to create different dashboards, add different hosts and many other things. So we are done with the Zabbix. Now it's time to go for our Ubuntu server. Well, I have already downloaded and installed Ubuntu 22.04 server into my VMware. Here it is. If I write here, who am I? So this is the username. So I have already installed it and we are good to go. So in order to use or in order to monitor my Ubuntu server from my Zabbix, I have to install Zabbix agent onto my Ubuntu server. Otherwise, I'll not be able to do so. Or if I say in a simpler word that I need to have some kind of connection between my Ubuntu server and my Zabbix 
so for that purpose i need to install my zapix agent so i'll just do that command for that is sudo space apt space install space zapix hyphen agent and hit enter give it your password hit enter once again well i have already installed it that is why it says zero upgraded zero newly installed zero to remove and zero not upgraded after you are done installing your zapix agent there is a file that you need to configure so for that purpose i'll write here sudo space nano space slash etc or etc slash zapix slash zapix underscore agent d dot com hit enter come to this file and scroll down here you will see a line that will say server and if you see i have two ip addresses in here one is 127.0.0.1 it means this is the ip address of local network so in case if you want to access this one locally or from within the system this ip address is enough but i want to access it from my zebex so that is why i also need to include the ip address of my zebex and if you remember or you can see also here that we have 192.168.111.144 as the ip address of zebex so that is why i have included it in here as well after that i'll just come down one more time and this time i'll look for another line where i need to enter ip address one more time here it is it says server active again 127.0.0.1 will be there by default and you need to add 192 or the ip address of your zebex after that here you see a line as host name equal zebex you will not see or you might not see this particular line into your file so for that purpose you need to include this particular line onto your own so i have written here host name equals zabbix monitor make sure you use the same host name when you are going to create a host into your zabbix for example if i go to configuration of my zabbix and if i click on host here i'll create a new host so here let's say i give a name as zabbix underscore server so i need to include this particular name into the host name of my ubuntu server as well otherwise i'll not be able to use it or you can say otherwise i'll not be able to monitor my ubuntu server so i'll write here zabbix underscore server and now we are ready to go so i'll just press control x i'll press y to save the changes and hit enter let me clear my terminal and we are good to go and we are done with everything that was needed to be done into our ubuntu server now let's head to our zabbix and here what we need to do here in terms of host group i'll search for linux here it says linux servers well yes i am using my ubuntu server so i'll go with linux server in terms of the interfaces click on this add button and click on agent because you know that we are using an agent in order to access or in order to monitor our ubuntu server after that leave everything as it is and just to click on this add button here you see here we have zabbix underscore server and at the moment we do not have any value or you can say we are not monitoring anything why is that so well do not worry just click on your host that you have just created and from here in terms of the template we have to include a template in here so again i'll search for linux here it says linux by zabbix agent yes this is the one i need so i'll just click on it and after that i'll just click on update so as soon as i click on update you can see here now we have different numbers in here we have 42 items we have triggers graphics we have discoveries let's click on discovery and let's see what do we get well in terms of discovery we have block devices discovery mounted file system discovery network interface discovery so basically you can go in any of these let's go back and here if you see we have graphs available we have triggers we have items but before that i'll click on my monitoring and i'll click on latest data and now from here in terms of your host i'll just remove this one i'll click on select and from here i have two options either i can go for zabbix monitor or zabbix underscore server and if you remember we named our host as zabbix underscore server but in your case you might not see this option straight away you might be asked or you might be prompted with host group so if i just cross this one click on this select button and from here you have two option either linux server or zabbix server well obviously we are using linux server so i'll just click on it and from here i'll select my zabbix server after that click on apply 
and here you can see now you have data down here here you have your latest value here you have a last check when it was performed we have time and here we have percentage of resources and number of resources that are being used by each service in here now i'll head back i'll just click on my configuration my hosts here if i click on my discovery you will see here it says enabled zbx and down here it says available if in your case if you do not see this green icon with zbx written on it it means your host is not up and you cannot monitor your network but as i have zbx and green sign it means we are good to go and in your case it might take one to two minutes to get the process start so do not worry and let the process start and wait for two to three minutes now i'll head back and this time let's have some graphs and now in order to see different graphs of your zabbix underscore server host go to your monitoring and click on latest data and down here you see all your information in here just click on any of these of which you want to have your graph and after that from here you can go with different options and there is one thing it is left click not the right click just click on graphs and it will show you a graph or you can say it will show you the information in terms of the graph so it says disk space usage i'll go back and let's open another one so let's go this time for total space i'll just click on this one i'll click on graphs and here i'll have a new graph onto my screen here we have disk space usage here we have free in nodes in percentage space utilization till now down here total space use space and down here we have disk space usage so how cool and how easy it is and not only that if you keep scrolling down you will get more and more information so that was all about that how you can use your zapix in order to monitor your networks your servers and different other thing i hope now that you must have learned a lot of new things and you must have liked watching this video if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you in the next video till then take care